there are literally mosquitoes everywhere. <sighs> and I'm covered by like a dozen mosquito bites. I tried to zoom in on them, but you won't be able to see because of the light. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, right there. Um, yeah, and then uh, you can't see through the perforation. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, right there. Anyways, you get the idea. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's freaking me out, man. Oh, also, it's raining cats and dogs outside. <laughs> Um, I'm about a, shoot, I don't know, 45 minutes away from New Orleans. I figured, hey, a rainy day <laughs> would actually be nice. There's going to be less mosqu <laughs> mosquitoes. So, um, I'm hoping that's the case. And I'm hoping for cooler temperatures because I don't know how you guys do it in the south. It is nasty out here already. I can even see a little fog forming on my, uh, my camera lens. Uh, <laughs> the filter. Uh, so anyways, let's hit the road. Also, I feel a little off today. So, hopefully that feeling goes away. But if I, if I ever die, you know, out here on the road, at least I get to go doing something that I love, right? Because um, this isn't a long distance... Um, you know, marathon, and it certainly isn't a sprint. Life, that is. You know, right now it's a, um, just a pleasant stroll about the country. All right, still not feeling so great, feeling a little funny, so I'm gonna stop into the uh, emergency room here, and uh, you aren't coming along, because my name isn't Jake Paul. Well, several hours later, got a spoiler alert, I didn't die. Also, I know next to nothing about Louisiana, but I think this is a levee right here. Like I said, just got out of the hospital, stopped in for a little checkup. And I was driving down the freeway and I saw this massive, massive uh, cemetery. So on the uh, subject of death and dying, God, it just kind of jumped at me and I pulled up next to this nice guy in an RV. Apparently he watches my videos. Hi. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Brian. Where, where are you from? I'm from Denmark. Denmark. Sweet. And I got this one-way rental half a year ago and I've never RV'd before, never camped before. So I went on YouTube and I found you and I've seen all your videos. Really? Yeah. That's as so... A preparation for this. That's so funny because... I made you. I, I literally just pulled up and he walked over here, so... Amazing. Oh, what? <laughs> I think so too. Wow. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> Speaking of morbid, check out all those dead mosquitoes. Now, <laughs> that's not... There's probably some that washed up this morning on the, the drive because it was a little on the uh, rainy side. But when I was complaining about mosquitoes, by the way, I have like a dozen mosquito bites on me right now. When I was complaining about the mosquitoes, I was not joking. Guys, look at that. That is absolutely terrifying. I think I got some good news here. The reviews were, I think, wrong. Um, I drove by and did not see anyone asking for admission. So, we're gonna go check it out in slow motion.
bodies would go into. Um, I don't really know what kind of structure this is made out of. Definitely looks like brick and cement. But uh, yeah, some of these marble fronts are uh, falling off due to erosion. cemeteries too much. Uh, don't really have anything against them, but uh, when you come to a place like New Orleans and you see something so unique, such as a ton of above ground tombs, it is definitely something not to miss. I actually didn't even know this was here when I accidentally saw it from driving on the freeway, which you can hear, and is right, right there. Very, very close. Um, anytime there's something different about uh, a city or a place or a town, those are the things that become unique. Those are the things that become things to see because as humans, everybody wants to be different, but then of course, once you're different, you know, sometimes people antagonize you for it. But when it comes to different things about the town, you really can't antagonize the town. It just, be just becomes something something special, something different. And it's uh, about as close as I'm going to get to a tomb. I lived, I lived today. <laughs> I made it through, so I won't be joining these guys here. Hopefully, not anytime soon. I think that about does it for today. Uh, as you know, today was um, got kind of uh, thrown off track a little bit, but uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> I'm alive, I'm ticking, and tomorrow I'm going to check out the town. And also, Emily stopped by. If you guys have been with me for a while, I met Emily, yeah, a bit ago, and um, she actually saw the bus, <laughs> was driving by and stopped, and I had someone else stop by, and unfortunately I forget his name. Super nice guy, he might come back uh, tomorrow. He and his uh, wife are building out a shuttle bus, and if I remember correctly, they're going to drive down to Central South America, which sounds totally freaking awesome. And um, yeah, so it should be a pretty exciting day tomorrow. I definitely am going to get off of the meal prep diet tomorrow. Uh, should be out of meal preps tomorrow morning. But there's a place that Anthony Bourdain stopped and got this incredible looking po' boy. And it seems to be one very local institution around here. And I really, really can't wait to try it because when I saw that New Orleans episode years ago, I said to myself, if I ever go there, I want to eat at that place. Not exclusively, but I definitely want to eat there. So, see you guys tomorrow.